This is a lesson on estimating quotients to solve problems. So we've been mastering our multiplication skills and now we're going to switch gears to um, division and we're going to start by estimating. So there are two strategies that you can use to estimate quotients and the first one is one that we we are familiar with um, but it's not as easy to use because uh, dividing sort of needs specific numbers for it to work but it can work sometimes so do what we know how to do for rounding so you round just the larger number leave the smaller number the same so that your answer isn't too different and then you divide so something that you should know is that this method should be used when the rounded number can easily be divided by the other number um, and you'll see what I mean when we get to uh, compatible numbers here in a second but here's an example so if I have 358 divided by 4 um, I would round 358 to 400 right because the 5 uh, bumps the 3 up to a 4 and everything else turns to a 0 so that's that um, so 358 turns to 400 4 stays the same and then I know that 400 is a multiple of 4 because 4 divided by 4 is 1 so if uh, 4 can divide by 4 then 400 can divide by 4 you just put those extra zeros sort of like multiplying Okay, so that's an example of using um, rounding. Now this one would be the less accurate way to estimate and sometimes diff more difficult. Um, I tend to use compatible numbers more often when I'm estimating quotients and a quotient is division. So here are the steps for using compatible numbers. So first, look at the smaller number and keep all of the multiples of this number in mind. And you'll see this in the example. Then, next, you need to change the larger number into a number that is close to the original, but that can be easily divided by the smaller number. And you would do this uh, by, by changing it to a multiple of the uh, smaller number. So here's an example of this one. So I, if I have 873 divided by 9, then I need to think of my multiples of 9. Now you may need to use a uh, multiplication chart for some of these if you're not uh, too familiar with your multiplication times tables yet. But this, this does, it does make it easier if you, if you know them. But, so my multiples of 9 are 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, and then I would continue. The next one would be 99 and so on. But I don't need to go further than that because I'm looking at these front two numbers and I'm thinking which one of these multiples is closest to 87. So I'm looking at either 81 or 90. Now a, uh, 87 would be slightly closer to 90. So I'm going to use 90 as my compatible number. But I need to remember to put that zero on the end because this this one's digit's always going to turn into a zero. Okay, so you're going to look at the front two numbers, find a multiple of the smaller number of nine, and then change these to what a uh, multiple of the smaller number, and then put this last number as a zero. So that ends up being nine hundred divided by nine. Now I can do this easily because I know that 9 divided by 9 equals 1 or that 1 times 9 equals 9 and uh, then I only put one zero at the end no I don't that's right it should be this not 10 it should be 100 okay so 900 divided by 9 equals 100 <sighs> okay, so next up is uh, your practice. So, um, you've got three here to do. You've got uh, 223 divided by 7, 192 divided by 3, 
and 315 divided by 8. So the easiest way, and I suggest, is doing compatible numbers. So find multiple of 7 and change the front two numbers to that multiple. Change this to a 0. Do that same strategy for the other two. And then, um, so pause the video and do that, and then play again once you're finished. Okay, so let's go through these. Um, I went ahead and wrote down multiples of each of the smaller digits to this side. Um, and this is a strategy that you might want to use. So, we look at the first two digits of this bigger number here, and we need to find a number that it is closest to in um, the multiples of 7. So I've got 22, so that's right in between 21 and 28. Uh, it's closer to 21, so I would write 2, 1, and change that 3 to a 0, and then divide by 7. Okay, so um, I would think to myself 21 divided by 7, and that is the 1, 2, 3, third multiple. So 3 would go here, and then a 0 would go, because I keep this 0. So I'm just concentrating on the 21 divided by 7, and then I put the 0 after. So it sh should be an estimate of about 30. Next one, I wrote down multiples of 3. And I'm looking at the first two digits of this one, so 19 um, is right between 18 and 21, and it is closer to 18, so I would write 180 divided by 30, and then 18 divided by 3, that's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 term. Also, 3 times 6 is 18 is how you can figure that out. And then put the 0, so an estimate would be 60. And the last one, I wrote out the multiples of 8. We're looking at the first two digits of the bigger number is 31. 31 is between 24 and 32. It's closer to 32, so we would write... Oh, work. We would write 3, 2, 0, divided by 8. And then that's the 1, 2, 3, 4th term. Eight, or 32 divided by 8 is 4, or 4 times 8 is 32. And I put the 0 on the end, so my estimate would be 40. So that's how to estimate quotients. Um, if you, if possible, then use this method. It's more accurate and it is easier to divide once you've figured it out. Okay, so your assignment then is um, right here, page 98, 99, and it's numbers 1 to 7.